Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. On today's video I have my Mini Countryman here. This is a 2012 and um, basically I'm gonna be changing the battery. Um, the car has been uh, showing me this annoying battery message for a few weeks now and uh, I decided to change it now because um, not only is showing me the message but uh, the other day it had a problem while I was driving on the motorway um, all the lights started flashing like a Christmas tree and everything went dead although the engine was still running um, luckily uh, the speedometer stopped working, the air conditioning stopped working, everything stopped working um, and then everything came back to life so <laughs> I think that is related to the battery um, as it has been running quite low so we have to listen to the car, change the battery when it tells us to change the battery um, so what I'm gonna do is that and the battery it's located engine bay back there so let's tackle that so that's the message that i keep getting that's the little battery yellow battery there um that usually refers to um the battery getting weak and you are in need of a battery if that was red then that's a completely different uh, case scenario. So anyway, let's get on with the removing the battery. Okay, so we're gonna need a 10 mil um, socket to remove this little 10 mil <clears throat> plastic nuts. There is three of them around here. I already loosened them. Um, this one came out quite fine, however, this one refused to come out with about 10 mil, and I had to butcher that with a, um, a wrench, basically. So that is what I would normally use, but that was so tight in there um, that I couldn't remove it, so I had to use this to get it out. Um, once it was loose it came out but now that is no longer 10 mil it's more like a circular nut which I'm gonna have to just tighten with this but saying that you don't really need to over tighten those now we can take these cables they're just in there so take them out to one side also there's another one of those 10 mil in here <clears throat> and then we can take this little cover out. This is just like a rubber cover we can take out. That will give us access here. Um, we need to pull this up basically and it's going to unclip clips down there can take this out as well um, that's where the battery is hiding we're gonna need a 10 mil for that um, terminal connections there so let's get this out of here somehow Okay, so once you get this up, we really, I don't know if we'll be able to manipulate it out of there. Um, we might need to remove this uh, wiper blade here because we really want to get it up here a little bit. So it, it looks like we might need to remove that. is a 15 mil Thank you. 
so that wasn't too bad. Uh, just put the uh, nut back in there. Okay, so pull it upwards and then you can get it out. Right, so that's where the battery is. Uh, so I'm going to start by undoing the negative side here with my 10 mil. Okay, that's one side out and then we'll take the positive out. Okay, so just on the uh, on the side here, you will find a 10 mil um, bolt. It's a long bolt that just uh, holds the battery in place. So I'm just going to undo that. Well, that's loose there you can just see the head um, now removing the battery it's gonna be a little bit heavy so just don't hurt your back also uh, don't forget to just unplug this little breather pipe here it should just uh, pop out really That's the clamp that holds the battery in place. Okay, that's a heavy battery. So like I said, don't hurt your back. Just to make sure you get the same uh, battery with the same amps. Um, on some of these cars, uh, like because this belongs to the BMW group, uh, we need to register the battery as well as being replaced with the uh, OBD computer. Okay, I've got my battery here. Same amperage, 70 amps. Um, well, like I said, just uh, make sure your whoever you buy the battery from gives you the same uh, capacity battery for your car um, if you're gonna do it yourself. Right. Um, let's get this back. Uh, now, I just noticed that the little breather pipe on this battery is on the other side. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on the other side. If that is possible, I'm not sure.
Okay, that may actually work. I don't know. Okay, so you need to sort of manipulate the uh, battery up in order to get your little clamp back in. And uh, that is one battery changed. So now we can go ahead and refit everything. Um, I broke one of these little clips. They're quite fragile. So just be careful with them. There's three of them. So I broke one of them. Okay, that's done. Now let's uh, oh, don't forget the uh, cables here. Just put them through their little clip there, so we don't get any wires caught. Those just go in there as well. And uh, now I'm just gonna start the car. Make sure <sighs> wiper blades are working okay as well. Okay, so I need to reset the time and the date. Um, so wiper blades are working fine, and hopefully. Last but not least, I just have to register the battery uh, replacement, but um, I don't think it's something that is essential to do. Um, we're just telling the car that we are um, fitting a new battery, so um, so it knows that it perhaps needs less charge or more charge or whatever the computer decides what to do but obviously with an older battery maybe the car applies more charge to it um as these cars are so um intelligent 
these days um that they uh that that's what kind of kind of thing that they do so they uh look after the batteries as well considering the battery i removed was a genuine battery uh this car is 2012 so it's 11 years old so it's a uh, quite a long period of time anyway let's get the computer and i'll show you how to register it okay so while this is loading uh, i'm just gonna manually select so not bmw but mini mini r57 and i'm gonna go to drive digital motor electronics you can do this i'm using a launch x431 i think um you can use other obds or you can use uh, bmw software to register the battery i'm just gonna set the time while we are waiting for that to load uh, so our it's at the moment nearly three o'clock and we can also okay so today is the 12th of may so that's okay um, um, so what have I done here? I think I forgot to set it. Okay, that's set. Minutes are set. Well, this was this was okay. So 12th of May, 22. Okay. Time is set. Right, this is um, loading there. Um, service function, register battery replacement. Does the vehicle have MSA SI automatic start stop? No. Okay, so display history of battery replacement, registered battery replacement number two here. Okay. So we'll just uh, enter the same capacity replacement battery. Click on one. Battery replacement successfully registered to the DME. So the following is now entered. Um, just say OK. End of test module. So that's uh, one battery registered. So if you have a stop start vehicle, you need to get an AGM battery. That's, uh, but again, your supplier will um, should give you that anyway i'm gonna see if there's any fault codes in here no fault codes so we can come out of this okay so uh, we have uh, successfully replaced our battery now uh, we should be good to go and uh, hopefully not have any electronic issues <laughs> um, as i had um, if you change it in in time you should be fine but uh, i didn't i waited quite a long time that's why my car was playing up um anyway hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out my merchandise and if you like my videos don't forget to give me a super like um anyway we'll see you on the next video and um, hope everybody stays well